of it somewhere here it is literally the exact same way like it's arranged in the same direction um, I've swatched some of these and I um, some of this is gonna be uh, easier to work with than others um, especially these two glitter tones what I feel like more like chunky glittery and they don't really swatch well I don't actually have the palette because I'm a student and I'm not gonna spend 56 pounds on um, an eyeshadow palette and your makeup I just don't I would rather spend I might mean, even spend 56 pounds on a single skincare product and I care more about skincare than I do about makeup so about makeup so I am in no position to be telling someone how to do their makeup but I am someone who does use makeup who enjoys using it but I'm just gonna put it this all I I think it'll be sticky enough for the eyeshadows to stick on. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. <laughs> um so I've never done a makeup video on this channel just because I mean this video is you know, I mean this channel is not meant for like makeup videos anyways. I'm going to use the color to use um this color here which I think is the equivalent color to um the color shy in the Huda Beauty palette um, but here it's called Rebound in this Makeup Revolution palette in my crease as a transition shade so yeah, so I actually started wearing makeup or having interest in anything involving beauty and skincare um, when I finished um, secondary school so I was about 18 um, I was 17 when my mom bought me my first um, makeup like small tiny travel makeup thing. I definitely spend more money on my skincare than I do on my makeup, especially now I think. Um, okay, sorry. Before I'm just gonna use this pink one to um, for my crease basically. This is why this channel isn't a beauty channel because I clearly cannot talk while doing makeup. Doing eye looks is I think the most difficult. Part of makeup and so I started watching um, YouTube videos tutorials on like eye looks and initially it was just like I wasn't looking at anyone specific it was just me um, searching on YouTube for like good eye makeup for round colored eyes or something like that um whew, that is very pink I wanted this look to be like a look that you can do and you would actually wear but it's turning out to be one of those crazy looks that you uh, just watch youtubers do and don't end up actually doing yourself my face is really flat so i really like to give some depth into my eyes i'm gonna use um unruly on the sort of outer corner of my eye i'm gonna use a soft blending brush because i don't want it to be like a really strong red on it so, so i started watching these YouTube videos and they were all using this um, really expensive makeup um, that obviously I couldn't afford. In terms of cheap eyeshadows for students, uh, like Sleek and Makeup Revolution in the UK is a really really good alternative for like a nice makeup. If you want, just want a nice palette to start with, I definitely recommend um, getting sleek makeup or any of the makeup revolution palettes like this palette is only eight pounds and the smaller palettes That I showed you guys earlier These ones which you get like 15 shades in um, Are only four pounds and it, it, honestly, it, it's great like pigmentation is fine. You don't have those kind of problems You just don't have like a name and brand to it Which you know if you're like me and you just want like nice eyeshadows don't really care um, about like brand names. So I'm gonna go in with Lust just to give a bit more depth in the corner so I'm just gonna use a pencil brush and which I think is great. Uh, I'm just gonna go back in with the blending brush because it's not really blending out very well. There's a red, I'm just gonna 
brand that up just get like cheap things or like affordable things that work for you it's the same principle i use in skincare i think there's always going to be brands out there that do um, products that are just as good and not gonna and it's not gonna like break your bank next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a small pencil brush i'm gonna pick up because i want to do like a cut crease thing and probably fail this video altogether i'm just gonna go in and carve out the areas that I want to put my glitter shades in also because I'm gonna need it because these don't really stick on very well and I'm gonna go in with um, this chunky pink color which is supposed to be fling um, in the swatch I think the color is a bit different I'm gonna go in with that pink in the outer corner um, and then I'm gonna go in with this gold color which is called fearless but called 24k in the Huda palette um, in the center and I really actually like dominant more than this color so I'm gonna use that in my inner corner yes I'm gonna go in with the gold now I'm gonna try picking it up with a normal flat brush and this is a body shop brush I don't know what it's called I got this like when I was 18 literally five years ago so Oh yeah, so another oh, so first okay, the first purchase I guess I bought on my own as a student was um brush sets, which was also a nightmare to try and get because oh look at that. That's nice. I think I should have pulled it higher. Right? I should have put the crease higher. Right. See so guys it's all try and error. I'm not a really girl, so this is just gonna be a trial and error all the way. I'm just gonna cut this a bit higher now. The first thing I ever bought was a brush set and I didn't want to buy anything that was more than 50 pounds. Um, I think it was, it was I didn't know like much. She actually didn't know like what to get or like and you know what brands were okay and what weren't. So I ended up just getting a brush set from Body Shop. Um, that I saw on YouTube had some good reviews on and I actually went to the shop to feel out the brushes myself and This looks ugly This is not nice Someone help But I don't really do crazy colors like this usually This video is just for fun because this is obviously failing anyways um, So I was saying, so invest in a good brush set I would say um, Get like, when I say good, like not like 300 pounds worth of brushes from Zoeva or anything ridiculous like that. Like Morphe is I think a good brand brush. Um, at least half of the internet thinks so. so. This is so ugly. Like you don't even. I, I can't even begin to tell you how ugly this looks right now. Is there a way to make this look nice? I think blending. Blending might make this look nice. But I should have just done like a normal smoky eye look. I was like, I want to use all these colors and show you how amazing this palette is. But I end up looking ugly. Just wipe the excess at the bottom. I'm gonna curl it this way. Yeah, again, I don't prime. I've done all my skincare routine. Moisturize, make sure you can see the shine. That's from the moisturizer. Go in with my color correcting colors to cover up my under eyes as well as this little guest that we have here. This is from Innisfree. This is the only non-western uh, makeup piece that I have. This and my powder. But I don't like that setting powder. So yeah, Innis, like, oh, Korean beauty is also a good alternative, I feel like, to makeup cost-wise. They're not going to be as pigmented as western makeup though, especially the eyeshadows because Koreans don't really go for bald eye looks like this they're more into like the natural look the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation um, I was talking about this earlier but um, foundation is something that I actually splurged on so if you use a Fenty foundation you'll know that you need to work in sections so I'm just gonna put this in. Oh, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. So this brush is probably the most expensive brush I own in my kit. And I actually bought it 
by accident. And by accident, I mean I was forced against my will to purchase it at a Bobby Brown um, counter in Selfridges. Price. This was like when I first started wearing makeup, by the way. Which is probably why I didn't ask the price. So I was like, how expensive can a brush be? She, I went to buy like the contouring, uh, the foundation sticks because she, because I wanted to contour. That was when the whole contour thing started with Kim Kardashian and stuff. And I was like, oh, I need to learn this. Oh, I want to learn this. And then she was like, oh, you know what's perfect? If you buy the brush with it, like it will work amazing with the brush that we have. And I was like, how expensive can a brush be? The brush was 34 pounds. I don't even... My brush set was 40 pounds. This single brush was 35 pounds. I was like, girl, what? And at, I, I, like, at that point, I was at the cashier point and I couldn't do anything. I, I don't know, I could have just like t taken it off my basket. I was 18, I was young, I didn't want to feel embarrassed. So I just bought a 34 pound brush but now um i literally don't you don't do my foundation with any other brush or sponge or you know i've tried the beauty sponge and everything and i still love this brush i think it gives an amazing coverage even when i'm using like um dark store foundation like i use the pro filter in shade oh 200 i thought it was 210. wow and i just think since i'm going all out on the eyes i might as well contour as well so, so I'm going to use um, my Bobbi Brown contour sticks that I bought two years ago, which are probably expired and going to break me out, but I haven't broken out from them. Um, Almond, and the other is in Porcelain. I think these two colors are too dark and too light for my skin, so I don't use a lot of them when I contour. Now, when it comes to contouring, I don't like to do anything crazy. I just kind of like... What do you? Warm it on my fingers, and... Pull it down from here, all the way down, and like dab it a little bit maybe, carve up those cheekbones. I also think my face is a bit too white set, so cover up this yeah, shape there. But honestly, if with a hijab on, you don't see those areas anyways. It's like automatic contouring. Can we just talk about how a lot of beauty gurus in Malaysia, a lot of people generally, um, as well as beauty gurus don't actually wear the shade of foundation they should be wearing like I don't get the obsession um, with wearing like foundation that's too light for your skin like you know I mean if you're gonna talk I mean obviously it stems from the whole like fairer is beauty like prettier in our like perception or culture but there's nothing wrong with like wearing foundation shade that is actually your skin also when you wear lighter foundation on your like on darker complexion it just makes you look really really ashy and that's not a nice look like you do not want to look ashy personally I don't think it's a flattering look on anyone when you wear foundation shades that are too light I think you would look much better glowier nicer with foundation that actually match your skin like, even professional makeups, like, people who do bridal makeup would whitewash their brides all the time. And it's not a pretty look. And there's nothing wrong with being tan, right? Like, it's... It's pretty. It's not ugly, and I don't get this obsession with needing to be fair or, like, be perceived as fair to look pretty in our community. So I'm just gonna go with the highlight stick and highlight this feature is just because I need to bring them out. I don't highlight my cheeks with this. I know some people go in with like the triangle area. It just clogs my pores and I'll break out from it, so I don't do that. I then set everything with um, a loose powder. Um, I usually like translucent powders, but I don't have any on me right now, so I'm just going to use my Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder, which is... Um, which is good enough i guess but it can i think if you're darker it can leave like a white cast on top of your foundation nyx uh translucent powder is really it's really fine and it is actually really translucent and will 
set your foundation nicely. I've used that one. It's not too expensive. I think it's about four or five pounds. Because the eyes are so pink, I think I'm gonna keep the rest of my face kind of neutral. So I'm just gonna use um, this. I don't know. It doesn't have a name. But this like very fair um, tone of blush. Um, I'm just gonna put it like on the outer side of my cheeks. And then very lightly. Um, I'm gonna go in with the gold highlighter. Um, and I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. Highlight is also another thing I don't get. Like, a little bit of it looks nice and makes you look glowy, healthy. But, like, you know the binding highlights like the, that you get in Hint, like the Fenty Beauty ones? Um, or, like, like, the ones you see Jeffree Star so like, doing any key tutorial just kind of, like, blinding in your cheek. Like, I don't get it. I think I'm done with my face. Right? That's all? Yep. Done with my face. I did my eyebrows off of camera because my camera died. Um, and also because you won't learn anything from me by doing my eyebrows. I mean, they currently look like distant cousins and not sisters. Should I try this? Should I try this? Will this flop? This will probably flop. I'm just gonna, along sort of like the cut crease line um, on the art, art set, I'm gonna use this glitter liner. Um, this is by Kiko Milano which is another a very affordable brand. You can find Kiko Milano in London as well. I got this when I was in uh, Milan. Is it doing anything? Nope, it is not doing anything at all. This is the uh, NYX Vinyl Liquid Line, but honestly, any liquid liner will do. I am definitely a liquid liner um, when I use liner kind of girl. On normal days, I don't really use my liquid liner. I'm just gonna pull, I'm just gonna pull this in, so this is what I usually do. I'm gonna line um, my eyes with the colors that I use on my eyes. So first I'm going in with Lust, um, this dark burgundy red color here with like an aligner brush. I'm just gonna, and then I'm just gonna line the outer of my eyes. Just here. Oh, the focus needed is real. So anyway, yeah, so you, I mean, as a student, um, you'll probably only wear these makeups, uh, these kind of, this kind of style of makeup um, very rarely, probably at like, I don't know, maybe balls, like the annual dinners and balls that um, societies have, or your course has, Christmas ball, uh, or like end of year balls. Since it's a full look, might as well put on a pair of fake lashes as well, right? Um, and I'm, today I'm going to try out this um, lashes, this one pound lashes that I picked up from um, Primark. I've never tried them before and I got cheated into buying this at Sephora. Um, I was actually looking for lashes, not these ones, but um, one of the workers at Sephora was like, oh you should get these, these are amazing. And once again, I didn't ask about the price. These were 90 ringgit. I don't want to pay that price for something I wear once or twice a year. This is the final look. I've put my lipstick on, finished everything, changed my hijab to, to match the warmth of the eyes. Um, and what I've got on is the NYX Lingerie Bedtime Flirt. Um, and the shiny thing bit in the middle, I basically use. I basically used um, Thrill, just dab it in the middle. So I went for a new lip look. So I guess this is like the done look. You can stop here. So uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, also, quick note, if you guys noticed, I actually changed the name of this channel from Miss Meredy to Miss Diana. And that reason being is because I am leaving the UK soon. What I've done is basically I've invited my younger sisters to also contribute to the channel with their videos. You'll start seeing um, vlogs from my sister soon.